Olá, meus amigos. Hello, my friends. Deus abençoe a todos. God bless all of you, making of all of you the blessing. Every day I say this. Every day I repeat the same words. The greatest blessing that you can have in your life is not marriage. It's not your financial conquest. Not material conquest. The greatest blessing you can have from God is to be the blessing. This is marvelous. See if the penny drops. The greatest blessing which you can receive from God is to be the blessing. Because you being the blessing, you will not beg for blessings. You will not ask one or the other, pray for me, please, have mercy on me. No. You will pray for yourself. You will have the blessing which is God himself. You will be free. You will walk with your own legs. You will fly with your own wings. Or do you want to depend on others? What do you want? As it is with love. Everyone wants to be happy and they think, they think that to be happy is to marry. But there is an important detail which many people don't observe. If they want to be happy by getting married, then it is obvious that they are unhappy. They want that others come and make them happy. So they want to marry. But if she is unhappy, this unhappiness, she will carry it to her marriage. And if the other person thinks the same way, oh, I want to marry to be happy, then it's because the other person is unhappy. Now imagine, you're unhappy and you want to be happy getting married with a person who as well as unhappy and wants to marry to be happy. So two people who are unhappy want to be joined, want to marry, to be unhappy. Is it possible to be happy? Is it possible for a person who is happy to marry another person who is unhappy and both of them to be happy? No, clearly not. Of course not. You will join your happiness with the other and then your marriage will be the worst thing, the worst ever. It's a matter of thinking. You don't even need faith to understand this. Only think, I'm unhappy and I want to find someone who will make me happy. This someone who you want to find to make you happy is also unhappy because he thinks like this. I want to be happy. I want to find a person who will make me happy. And then two unhappy people are joined together and both of them being unhappy will sum up to two times the unhappiness. What shall I do, Bishop? First, you have to be happy. First, you have to be happy. But how can I be happy alone? Oh. But you have to be. First, you have to be the happiness. And this happiness is what I've been speaking of daily. Be you a blessing. God said to Abraham, God wants to make of you a person who is happy and you can only be happy with him. How can you love a person if you don't even know love? It's not possible. Firstly, you have to know love to later love the person who you will marry. So see, for you to seek and find 
the person who you will marry. Firstly, you have to find the Lord Jesus. He is love. God is love. So firstly, you have to have an encounter with love, the true love, the eternal love, not the love that lasts for 70 years, etc., but the love that is for all eternity. Firstly, you have to know the love. This is the cross which Jesus tells us to carry. Firstly, we have our encounter with God. It's the vertical part of the cross. When you know Him, you know the love which is God, which is the Holy Spirit, then you are in the condition to seek a person who as well knows the same love, meaning both know the love, both are happy, and when two people who are happy because they know the love, they know happiness, they are the blessing, then these two people who are happy when they finally found each other, then happiness doubles. Then yes, then you will find a person according to your first love, which is the Lord Jesus. And then you can be sure that you will be happy. Because a person who is happy, together with another person who is happy, both will be happier. They don't need luck. They don't need anyone to say, look, I want you. I wish you an eternal marriage. They don't need this. They don't need anything. They don't even need prayers. They don't even need prayers. Because two blessings, marrying, joining, uniting, through the sacred matrimony, both blessings will become one blessing, one body. Both will live one for the other and both will be happy. Do you understand, my friend? If a person is unhappy and marries another who is unhappy, both will be unhappy. It will be an unhappy body. If a person is happy and they find another who is happy, then both will be happy because they are compatible one with the other. That's what happened with me and I can say this to you. I have authority to say this to you. I'm not giving you, for example, a, an idea made up in my head. No. We will be 49 years married, Esther and I are two people who were happy, who are happy, when we found each other. And when we found each other, we became one body, which was happy doubled. Why? Because firstly, I found my love. Her, in her time, she found her first love, which was the Lord Jesus. So both were and are loved when we glue our hearts. Praise God, we are married. Hallelujah. She loves me and I continue being in love with her. So, my friend, I'm giving you the tip for you who is looking to be happy. You tried once, you tried another time, you married once, second, three times. There are people who married 13 times and they remain unhappy. They remain seeking and seeking and seeking because they didn't find the first love. When you find the first love, the first love, which is the Lord Jesus, will guide you to find the other who has the first love. So two loves finding each other, both will be one love, one body, one flesh, one love, 
one faith, one spirit, one family, one house. How marvelous. It's only possible when you first, you have your encounter with the first love, the vertical part of the cross. When you find, in fact, the Holy Spirit guides you to find the person who will complete you, who is already happy, then you become a formed cross. The cross is formed in marriage, first with God, then marriage with the person who is happy as well. These are the arms of the cross. Remember what the Lord Jesus said? If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself. For you to marry God, you have to deny yourself. For you to marry the person who sends to you, you also have to deny yourself. So you have to deny to serve the Lord Jesus, to walk with Jesus. You have to sacrifice to walk with the other person, to marry the other person. The cross is this. Take up your cross and follow me all the days of your life. May God enlighten your understanding. May the Holy Spirit come and open your understanding that you may seek to be first, firstly, the blessing, which is the first love, which is the kingdom of God in first place and his justice and all the other things will be added on. Amen. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Praise be to God.